Hello and welcome to BW London Podcast. Everything I say is speculation and allegedly. So Chris Jenner, a young woman, understood that she needed to get with older men in order to prosper and so she did. She married Robert Kardashian who brought her into an elitist lifestyle. He naturally would have been part of Freemasonry and would have showed her different things. These different things she engaged in quite quickly because she has a very good business mind and a mind to prosper at any cost. Her first, one of her first sacrifices would have been her husband, including her friend, who was O.J. Simpson's wife. And this would have been the start of Kris Jenner's game, giving blood sacrifices to demons to ensure her prosperity but being a desperate woman and not really coming from any class she took the deal and the deal was that men around her will always fall their money will fall their life will fall things around them will always fall so when she got with her new husband the Jenna Mr Jenna while they sat in that house slowly a baphomet was being born He would eventually become a man with breast, with a penis and a goat's head because that's what he looks like. So that's what happened there. That was dwelling in her house for years as her children were born. And when she thought possibly she would have escaped this curse, this sacrifice of men, it would play out in her children's life. They would all be baby mothers. They will all have men that fall at their sides because of the Jenna curse, because of the blood signature that she made for the fall of men after her husband, after her friend was sacrificed by O.J. Simpson and after there was a man dwelling in her house to become a Baphomet. So Kim Kardashian made a sex tape that she then exploited and then Ray J fell at the hands of that. He would become the new skivvy of the celebrities. The person that gives them drugs and sent to do sacrifices like onto our poor Whitney Houston and her daughter. Ray J was mixed up in all of that because he dealt with the Kardashians and that is now his new fate. Kim's ultimate fall, as you see, she will get with many husbands. Their careers would fall at her hands, including Kanye West. But their sacrifice is deeper because she made a new pack. Hence why we see Kanye West doing witchcraft and literal magic in front of our eyes at his show recently, where he wore blood for the sacrifice of his mum, which I believe she agreed to. Because the lifestyle of Hollywood that he knows he wished he never brought her there because it made his mother lose hope. She knew she couldn't be a size UK 6 or an American 4. She knew she couldn't be that slim woman that they all aspire to be in Hollywood. And she felt like her time was up and the sacrifice was worth it. So together with her son Kanye, they made a pact for his continuous success. But that pact continues because he got with a Kardashian. He himself made that fate not realising from years before that these things were out of his hands. And she led out in her white wedding dress as he represented the blood sacrifice and everybody else dressed in black representing the demons that surround them and walked in a circle as they did their witchcraft. And then later at another ritual, the gala. She comes out in another outfit covering her face to continue this very same magic, this very same witchcraft that is happening right now. She begins in a white dress and ends in a black dress with her face covered to seal the deal and for their continuous success. Chloe suffers the same fate. Lamar nearly in his deathbed all for the sacrifice of the Kardashians and the Jenners. And now her new one, Tristan, that will never be faithful to her. 
and their relationship will never go any further than her being a baby mother. And the youngest, the youngest Kylie, had to suffer the same fate. Poor Kylie, probably one of the most innocent of all, born into it, born onto the screen. Not quite tall enough to be the model as her sister, but able to be the baby mother and continue the sacrifice of men at her side that will never marry her. They will never marry her. And their careers will fall from associating with the Kardashians. Tiger and I don't know the other guy's name. Don't even know which one's her baby father. Because I don't follow popular culture enough. But I know what I see when I see it. Rituals playing out before our eyes. Because they do everything hidden in plain sight. Courtney, who thought she escaped it. She chose not to marry because she didn't want to have the failure of her parents' marriage. But her husband just sat there manifesting with demons. Lusting after women. Too young, no hips, just young looking ladies. His preference, yes, but he has a distasteful yearning for it brought on by the Kardashian curse that will make him fall. Drug addiction, sexual addiction, all addictions, chains holding these men back because they choose to mix juices with the Kardashians. Now, Kylie's big sister, who I can't remember his name right now, Kendall. That one, she's probably the most crazy of them all. Her mind, she tries to avoid men at all costs. But she too could not avoid the fate of the Kardashian curse. That any man that comes in contact with her, mixes with her juices, will fall. But that one is crazy. Kendall is crazy. Kendall thinks of evil. She thinks of murder. That girl thinks... She knows the right things to say, but I can tell narcissism runs deep in that girl. She's always belittled her younger sister, Kylie, and made her feel like she's doing things incorrectly. Something's always wrong with her. And as Kylie finds her own, Kendall becomes more bitter. She wanted to be that headstrong one that, oh, I would never do what they do. I don't need the surgeries. But she's just as vain as they are, expanded her hips, perked her bum and gave herself some lips to be a part of the Kardashian curse, which is not only about the burning of men and the destruction of men, it is also about vanity. And they will possess the world with vanity, with the blood curse that she signed. People will want to look like them. People will change themselves, destroy themselves, kill themselves to look like the Kardashian curse, to have their abnormal hips, bums that resemble women from Africa, but exaggerated on extra skinny legs, long dark hair. They will look like horses and they will destroy men and anyone that touches them. And Kris Jenner watches this curse fall out and she gets with her new man, I don't know his name, Cody, I wanna call him Rory, I don't know. And he acts as, he's her slave. Just like Puff Daddy had a slave in the lady that he sacrificed. I believe she's his baby mother. It's the same ritual going on here. She tods along with her slave black man. Who will fall at her side because of the Kardashian curse? Most people can turn to repentance because their souls were never there to sell in the first place. But I feel like the Kardashian curse is so sealed, it would be so hard to escape it. But if I prayed for anyone, it would be Kylie. She's the one, I don't get a sense of vanity and narcissism from her. I get a sense of lostness, having to plod along, having no choices. Her fate being sealed. And if she can escape it one day, I pray for her that she can. Just because of the look that I see in her eyes. Rob. Their brother, he had no chance from the beginning. There will be no men that rise in the Kardashian curse. He spent a small part of his youth enjoying what was the Kardashian curse before he too fell and was exploited by women that looked just like the Kardashian curse. The China girl with her big hips, tiny waist, big bottom, 
over long eyelashes weave the transvestite look came upon him because that is the look that takes down the men that touch anyone in the Kardashian women atmosphere <laughs> the Kardashian curses real people take care <laughs>